Let's get it. Yes, sir. What up, fam? It's your boy G Ridge. I'm back in here again today, fam. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some fried chicken. I'm doing this again because someone asked me to. Someone asked me to do one of my neighbors asked me to do some fried chicken on a video, do a video and see how I deep fry my fried chicken. I'm gonna deep fry it outside again today, okay? So but uh I have like about 35 pieces here. I got wings, uh legs and thighs, okay? Wings, legs, and thighs, all right. So um listen. I'm gonna do some garlic fried chicken, but this time I'll do this one a little different for them. They can't have the mustard and um, and a lot more other ingredients I put in the last one, but this one here gonna be nice and simple, okay? This is what you're gonna need for this particular garlic fried chicken. Some ground white pepper, onion powder, some good old coarse kosher salt. Yes, sir, that's very key. Cayenne pepper, yes sir. Last but not least, some good old garlic powder, the fine garlic powder, not the granulated. Try to use the powder, okay? Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and use two teaspoons, two teaspoons of white pepper. It looks like dried mustard, but it's not, okay? All right, we also have one tablespoon of onion powder. You don't need too much onion powder on this here. I want too much onion flavor on it, okay? One fourth of a cup of coarse kosher salt. We got 35 pieces in here, fam. Let's get it around in there. Don't worry about it, we'll mix it up real good. All right. And you also have one fourth of a cup of cayenne pepper. Yeah, sir. Mm-hmm. You only hardly taste the cayenne pepper, but I don't know, man. Just add that little, the southern flavor to your chicken, fam, when you're frying it. Okay, last but not least, you got one foot, one half a cup. One half a cup of the fine uh, garlic powder. You're going to need the garlic powder, not the granulated, okay? I'm going to sprinkle this on here. Yeah, get it nice and coated. Now, fam, now when, when you get ready to put the all-purpose um, flour on it, we're going to come back and put some more garlic powder into the flour okay yes sir are right, we getting ready to get dirty now Just spread it out a little bit you don't see these videos before but someone asked me to make it for them and that's what i'm gonna do mm -hmm. now that's seasoned throughout all that meat already yes sir Plenty of pieces in there too. It's gonna be good, fam. And you want to you want to fry it at 350 degrees, just like I did that turkey the other day. Um, soon as you put the chicken in there, I'm probably I'm probably gonna fry like uh, between eight and ten pieces at a time. This is gonna be a different pot. It's a little smaller pot because uh, you know I don't need that deep for all that chicken to be way down. And this one here is a perfect pot for it. Okay. Make sure you use the right kind of pot. Make sure you put enough oil in there. Not enough that it's going to boil over and burn yourself. But just enough. Oh man, it smells good. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take this and sit this back in my outside freeze, my outside refrigerator. And we're going to let it marinate for like 30 minutes, okay? I'm going to get some God, I'm going to get some some all-purpose flour. And then I'm going to add some more garlic powder to it. Okay, mix it up. And then I'm going to mix that up. And then we're going to sprinkle it over the uh, chicken. And then we're going to deep fry it. Like I said, all right? So I'm telling you, this is a nice little recipe. You don't seen this done before. I'm going to play some music while the chicken is frying or whatever. All right, you sit back and relax and enjoy. So hold on tight. I'll be right back. All right, fam. So right here, I got uh, six cups of all-purpose flour in here. And I got... Uh, one half cup one half cup of, of garlic powder to add into my flour okay one half of a cup now all we're gonna do is just mix it up a little bit yeah 
and stuff. And then after I mix this up, I'm going to dump it into the bowl with all the chicken in there. Chicken been marinating. You can mar let it marinate for 30 minutes. I let it marinate for an hour. I like an hour, hour and a half. So I put it, uh, like put it, season and put it together before uh, church service this morning. So after church, I'm right, right back out here. So like it's been an hour and a half. But as you can mar let it marinate for just 30 minutes, okay? All right, so we're just going to pour it all in there. Yeah, that's more than enough. Six cups, six cups of flowers, okay? All right, so well, we're gonna go ahead and let this, uh, light this, light, light this gas cooker here, and then we're gonna let it heat up to 350 degrees, like I said, all right? And then, as soon as we drop the first wave in, the first wave of chicken, we're gonna immediately turn the temperature down so it won't burn, because if you put it in there at right at 350 and you don't adjust the temperature, the heat, it's going to, the only, only thing is just going to get hotter and hotter and hotter. So you got to turn the fire down. So, so what we're going to do now is just turn it up so it can get hot to hit 350 degrees quick. All right. So hold on tight. I'll be right back. Okay, family. Now you can see the oil in the pot. Like I told you, just a little smaller pot. All right. That's some fresh. Now this here, this oil here, this is, I'm using... Uh, uh, condola oil on here. You can use vegetable oil or you can use, use fried olive oil or peanut oil, whatever you can stand. But I'm using canola oil on this garlic fried chicken that I'm frying today, okay? It's going up. It's at uh, it's almost 300 degrees. When we reach 350, I'm going to drop the first wave in there. Then I'm going to immediately turn the heat down so it can cook at 350. And uh, not burning up the meat, not cooking so fast. Because like I told you, the heat will go up and up and up if you leave the fire exactly where it's at. All right, we at 300 degrees. We got to go 50 more and we'll be ready to fry. It stopped at 300. All right, fam, let's check it again. All right. All right, it's going up. 325, 330, 340, 45, and 350. I'm going to bring it close to you. 350. All right. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave this thermometer in here. I'm going to leave it in there. Now, right here, I got 10 pieces of chicken on here. 10 pieces of chicken. I'm going to go ahead and drop it in. Yes, yeah, sir. Move it around. Then I'm going to immediately turn the, the heat down. Turn it down because we want the chicken to be not to burn but to come out golden brown. You know how I like to have it. Yes, sir. Turn that down. Uh huh. Still at 350. And see, I can use this big, my big uh, spoon here to pull it out. Look at that, huh? You see it? Yes, yeah, sir. All right, so we're going to let this cook. It's not going to take that long, of course. When, you fry, when you're um, frying outside with that gas, it's not going to take that long. But I wanted to show you how it's coming. Look at that. Already. All right, we'll be back. Okay, fam. So it has been like 18 minutes later. All right. And the chicken is starting to float up to the top. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Mama, there goes that man. Look at there. Even outside, G. Rich has done it again. Yes, sir. So I'm going to go ahead and drop these over here. Ooh, let them just fall right on there. On that little rack there. Uh huh. Oh, man. 
Now that's the thing of beauty. Ooh. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Any more? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right. So now we're going with the uh the next batch. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Right into it. And then I'm gonna drop this back in. Then I'll, I'll see y'all with the finished look, fam. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I'm just making sure I get them good and coated. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Going back in. Yes, sir. Oh, fam. Hold on, man. Oh, my word, family. That's a thing of beauty, fam. Yes, sir. So, we're going to let this cook here. And then when I be, we'll be back with the whole the entire finished look, okay? Hold on tight. I'll be right back. Okay, fam. So here's my finished look. Yes, sir. <laughs> look at that, huh? Mm-mm. Going in. All right. Okay, fam. So right here. here I know I said I was going to play some music, but I decided not to. I just want you all to hear everything. Look at that, fam. That's how it's supposed to look. That's all. Stick with your boy. Love y'all to life. G-Rich out. In your mouth. That's how you do garlic chicken.